Welcome back to Fast Money. We've got a Bitcoin alert. The cryptocurrency collapsing today. Right now, it's down more than 10 percent. This big move lower. Testing Coinbase, which reported service issues today. Let's get to Eamon Jabbers, who has been tracking the very latest on this. Eamon. Yeah, Melissa, Coinbase told us earlier in the day that they did have some problems related to volume. They said, though, that that was cleared up at about 1.40 p.m. East Coast time. Here's the tweet that they put out explaining what had happened. They said, Transactions are now going through normally and service issues have been resolved. We've taken steps on our end to maintain stability and keep our services up. Thank you for your patience and understanding while we worked to address this. So what happened here to cause all this? Well, here's the explanation officially from Coinbase. They say a sudden increase in network traffic and market activity led to a degradation in our services. We're seeing improvement with our app services. However, transaction services are still degraded. Fund settlement will be delayed while we recover. So not a clear answer in terms of a lot of detail of what exactly happened here, but they're saying just simply volume was the problem here. So uh, clearly a lot of interest in Bitcoin today and other cryptocurrencies as we saw what happened in the uh, overall crypto market today. And then there you see uh, Coinbase's stock price itself taking a hit as a result of some of these issues they had today. They do say, Melissa, they've now got it worked out and things should be getting back to normal uh, before too long. We'll see overnight and into tomorrow morning how that actually plays out. All right, Eamon, thank you. Eamon Javers tracking this for us. Meantime, the big breakdown in Bitcoin comes as El Salvador becomes the first country to adopt the cryptocurrency as legal tender. Let's bring in our own Brian Kelly. He joins us on the fast line. Um, Beeks, thanks for joining us. What's your take on, on the decline that we've seen? Yeah, so, I mean, I hate to keep saying this, but it is somewhat normal to, to what happens in Bitcoin. And what we saw today was really similar to what happened in May, where you get this cascade effect as stop orders are hit. So we had about... $3 billion worth of stop orders get hit and liquidated uh, in a relatively short period of time. That did coincide with some tweets from the president of El Salvador, as well as some comments from the IMF. So I think what happened is people got spooked, stops were triggered, and we just cascaded lower. What role did the Coinbase uh, difficulties, outages, whatever you want to call it, play in this, if any? Yeah, so the, all the exchanges actually had issues. When you get that big rush, the exchanges just aren't at the point where they can scale out. So what does it do? It, it creates that vacuum so that on the initial downdraft, there's no buyers there, and then you got to wait till they come, wait till the exchanges come back up before you can get money back in and start buying again. And we're starting to see that now. How big of a deal is El Salvador? I understand the symbolic nature of it, but polls show that people in El Salvador are very skeptical of using Bitcoin. So even if this happens and remittances are, what, 23 percent of its GDP and mostly remittances from the United States, that, that there, might, it, there might be slow adoption, even with this adoption as legal tender. Yeah, I think, you know, listen, even if everybody in El Salvador decided that they wanted to use Bitcoin, um, you know, it probably wouldn't have that much of an effect. It's a sentiment effect, right? And now you've got to think about the other countries that may start using this in South America. Um, you know, you might see somebody, the, the big one would be Brazil if they happen to have a currency breakdown. So it's more about, hey, we're giving this a shot. This is going to be kind of the trial run and everybody else around the world looking at it. That would be the bullish case. At the same time, people may not use it in El Salvador. Yeah. Um, down 11 percent right now, BK. I mean, a baller like yourself, this is probably not a buying opportunity per se, given that you say this is sort of run of the mill, you know, trading action. Yeah, I think this is a buying opportunity. There's, there's okay. nothing about the fundamentals that have um, changed in my view. We're still seeing a lot of institutional adoption. Uh, we're still seeing money printing around the world. So this to me is a, is a buying op. Brian, always good to speak with you. Always Brian Kelly. Spoken to. <laughs> and I haven't called Brian, Brian Kelly in years. Um, Tim Seymour, <laughs> obviously, emerging market. I go to the emerging market specialist naturally <laughs> because places like Africa, places like South America, that's where it would make a lot of sense for Bitcoin to be adopted. Yeah, and, and I think whether it's you know, fungible, non-fungible, um, the rudimentary kind of usage, we're still 1.0, but this is, this is part of the future, and th this is part of uh, what we've even talked about on Fast Money over the last three or four weeks, especially as we've gotten into the, the boom in, in NFTs and what's been going on in the art world, and, and that you're actually seeing people think about things and actually do conversions back to, back to Ethereum and what, it, what things actually cost. And so we're still so early on this. Um, I, I, you know, I think I said on today's call earlier is that I, I think people are licking their chops on this pullback, um, especially when, as Brian reinforced, 
that this is not fundamentally based, really. So, um, look, I, I just think that there's a lot of people that are starting to get some sense of, of where uh, commercial use is, is beginning. And even if it's in what I still think are going to be a lot of boom-bust dynamics in, call it the art world, but um, for now, I, I think there's been a lot of value that's been been, been created, and, and we'll see. But, uh, you know, I think, again, this is a very large headline in terms of El Salvador, in terms of the sentiment. And, yes, there are a lot of countries around the world where there's zero confidence in their currency, and, and those will be countries that will adopt faster. Um, really bad news for Coinbase. On a day when, when trading volume is really heavy, Guy, for an exchange to have difficulties, I mean, it seems like that's the kind of day that the exchange needs to actually be functioning without a problem. Yeah, extreme volume should be days that they wish for, right? And it shouldn't be a problem. And, and I thought it was really interesting that the stock didn't sell off more than it did. It just speaks to the fact that, you know, Coinbase is not going anywhere. It's here to stay. And even with the sell-off, you're talking about a company with a $65, $66 billion market cap. I bring that up because they might be well-deserved of that and might be going higher. But if that is, in fact, the case, and I've said this on a number of occasions, the NASDAQ should be a lot worth a lot more than the $35 billion or so that they're trading at. So how do you trade this? Well, Coinbase, I think it's going to be fine. I think NASDAQ is going to be the winner of all this when people realize how valuable a property they are.